Hello and welcome to this edition of the Eagle's Eye right here on AUTV20. I'm your host, Carrie Smith, and right now I have with me Senior Digital Media Production Major, A.D. Goodyear. A.D., thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. So going all the way back to before you were an official student here at Ashland, mm -hmm. why did you choose AU and more importantly, why did you choose the Journalism and Digital Media Department? So I chose Ashland because it's, it's a smaller school, it's smaller class sizes, and it's really close to home. And all of those three were like very important when I was looking at different schools. Um, I chose Ashland for those main reasons. And when it came to what I wanted to major in, I had no idea what I wanted to do. But I know that I listened to music all the time. And like as a kid, I used to listen to the radio all the time. I listened to the radio in my car. And I actually used to watch news broadcasts with my grandpa all the time. And those are like some of my favorite memories is watching the news with him. And I was always so fascinated by the graphics and all the different types of movements that they would do. And so I'm like, Maybe that's something I can do, but I didn't know if it was something you can major in. And when I found it here at Ashland, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I decided to do a tour with Ashland, and I came, and I talked to Dr. Dave McCoy, the chair of the department, and he kind of led me around the radio station and the TV station, and the more he talked, the more I felt at home. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I definitely need to be here, and that this is probably the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. I'm so glad that I'm here. I'm glad to have you here. <laughs> so in your four and a half years at Ashland, you've been involved in so much in the di journalism and digital media department across all three mediums, or four mediums actually. Talk about some of those experiences and uh, how do you think they have helped you grow as a person and in your abilities as a future media professional? Yeah, so uh, when it comes to the newspaper side of things, I do have some stories that have been published on AU Live and in the actual paper Legion, um, but I don't do very much with that side of it. I'm more of a production type of person, so the two mediums I've mainly focused on is radio and television, um, and I've done so much with them. With the radio side, I'm a director on the board. I have my own show, and I have since freshman year. On the TV side, I'm also a director for the TV board, and I've done so much crewing and I've done directing for two live election shows, which I think is so cool to have under my belt. Absolutely. It's just held <clears throat> these two mediums all in itself has helped me become more confident in myself, more confident in my media ability. And I have no doubt that eventually down the road, I will have the abilities and the skills and the capability to get a job in the media industry when I graduate. Absolutely, I think, as you said, having all those sort of experiences really like is what matters um, in the end when you come out of this department, so yeah. when you go on to do your future career. So speaking of WRDL and your time in the department, you currently have the longest running DJ shift on WRDL. Tell me more about your show and what that show has meant to you. My show is, I like to tell people my show is my baby. I care so much about my show. I'm so passionate about my show. Um, it's a feel good show. It's called Good Vibes. It's Tuesday, Thursdays, three to five. Um, and all I do is I tell people the inspiring stories that you may not always hear in bigger media sites. And so what I do is I get inspiring, feel good stories and that's all, that's all I do. And then on Tuesdays, I have a segment that I do. It's called Trainwreck Tuesday, and I give you life tips um, about anything, how to study, how to write a paper, how to relax a little bit. And then on Thursdays, I do um, Mentally Fit, Physically Happy, which is mental health tips. And I know I myself struggle with it. I know people who, um, outside of the department, in my family, and all sorts of areas who have mental health issues and I think it's a topic that not many people talk about so I want to be that person who's like this isn't a taboo topic to talk about here's some mental health tips um, and hopefully that can get people the kind of head start that they need to like mm -hmm. hey maybe I maybe I should look more into this if you think that you're having a problem you know right. um, so I just wanted to be the four hours a week that people can come in listen chill out and 
not only learn about themselves, but learn that there are good things still going on in the world as well. Right. I feel like there's so much negativity, like you said, like having that positive place to go for two hours, uh, two days a week is, yeah. is really, really nice. So. Yeah. So moving out of the department, you've also been involved in a lot of other campus activities, such as the university choir mm -hmm. and also the marching band. Can you tell me about your time in both of those? Yeah. So I've done choir since the seventh grade, and then I've also done band as a whole since the sixth grade. So I, I didn't do band freshman year of here of college because I didn't know how to join it. So I've actually done them an equal amount of time now, and it's been a decade. It's been 10 wow. years, and that's such a long time to do things. And I fell in love with music as a way to express myself in middle school and high school, and I'm like, I really hope I have the time and the ability to do that in college, and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to not have to give up the trombone and the singing and all of that so early in my life, and I could continue that on in college. Mm -hmm. And as your time as a student in the journalism and digital media department is slowly coming to a close, what is some advice you would give to current and future JDMers? It may sound a little cliche, but I would say to like do something that you're almost scared to do. Because before I came here, I had no experience in media at all. No, I haven't done any production. Um, so I was like a true freshman coming in here going, I'm really interested in this, but I have no idea what I'm doing. And public speaking, not my thing. I hate to do public speaking, and but here I am. I'm on the radio. I anchor for for the television. Um, so come in here, and even though you're scared of it, that should do nothing but push you to want to try it, mm -hmm. because that's exactly what I've done, and I don't regret anything that I've done here. So, yeah, just just do what you're scared of, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Adi, for sitting down with me. It was a pleasure to get to speak with you about your time in the journalism and digital media department, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you. That is all for this edition of the Eagle's Eye here on AUTV20. Be sure to follow us across all social media at AUTV20. I'm Carrie Smith. Thanks for watching. <laughs>